What is going on everybody man? King Recon here and dude, there is no chapter tomorrow. And I'm in a massive One Piece mood, bro. Like I'm normally in a One Piece mood like at all times, the greatness is always up here. But the past like week or two, I don't know if it's because chapter 1000 is right around the corner or because the current arc is going ham or I don't know, man, but I've been in a mood. I've been in the mood to discuss and experience the awesome sauce. You know what I'm saying? You know when you're in those moods where you're just like, it's just hitting. You're just, we are. Dan, 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 dan. And you know what I mean, bro? That's how it's been. That's how it's been, man. So I was like, there's no chapter tomorrow. My volume doesn't come in for quite some time. Let's catch back up to the anime, man, you know? I, I left y'all hanging. I apologize for that whenever I wanted to catch back up last time. Uh, but here we are, man, for the anime awesome sauce, episode 944. Uh, continuing in this marvelous adaptation we've had so far of the Wano arc, man. Uh, so let's get right into it. Episode 944 in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The goat with a coat, son. Dude. What episode are they on right now? I think it's like 953, 952. Pretty sure by the time I catch up, they'll be on 952. Or 953. What episode are they? Let me check. Let me check, man. Let me go on Crunchyroll right quick. I would check on here, but I don't want to interrupt the stream. You know, like, it's the struggle of watching stuff on Crunchyroll. You don't want it to lag. <laughs> Hold on. So, yeah, they're on episode 952. So, 953 will be out for sure by the time I catch back up. Man. And then considering where we are, I've already been told several times by several different people that the anime has been going nuts the past, I don't know how many episodes. And I believe it 110% just based on what we've gotten in the arc so far. But uh, but I was hit up for, for the Kawamatsu episode apparently like by like 15 different people, dude. I was like, holy flag, Nart. So I'm super looking forward to that, man. Y'all know how I feel about my dude. So I can't wait until we get to that episode. We're going to enjoy the journey up until that point because there's a lot of greatness. This part of the opening is so nasty. Yeah. Yo, this stuff was so clean. Yo, Zoro versus Kyoshiro, and then you had Sanji going up in Luxembourg against Drake. I was like, yo, this is what I'm talking about. You got Brooke going ham. This stuff right here was so clean. So, uh, yo, X Drake wanted no business of that Sanji Grace. Look at that! Just look at it! Yeah, Extra Hachi Slash. Get him out of here. Then Law and Hawkins, and Hawkins has Law like, yo, listen to me, son. sound well we're still in recap give me a second let me check what the sound is good the flying flatness are coming from
Yeah, that's gonna be a very scary thing to hear, man. Seriously. Like right now, you're taking care of somebody who's already a threat in Luffy. And then out of nowhere, I hear his mama, mama. Like, yo, anybody be shook. Unless your name is Shanks, but. <laughs> Unless your name is Shanks, yeah, aside from that, anybody be shook. Kingdom One's gonna be playable in, in Pirate Warriors soon, right? They did. And Kingdom One takes full responsibility, look at that. I love the aesthetic of this part right here, where it was hold them and um, and Ashura Doji with the flames surrounding them. Yeah, I feel bad for Ashura Doji, but that aesthetic was, was fire, all pun intended. Unan in the stone storage room. That's a soundtrack of legend right there. It really is, man. It moves you when you see, especially in, the, in their case. That episode was fan was phenomenal. Those two episodes back to back, man. I would, nah, screw that. Like those, like five episodes back to back were just nasty. That shot.
Here we go. Back at Udon. With old Mama Mama herself. And it's not just any big mom. It's a hungry big mom, man. That's the scariest thing you could possibly have. Infiltrating your base at this point in time. Straight up shoulder tackles, dude. <laughs> it's almost like, yo, try your hardest. Try your hardest, Big Bob. <laughs> yo! At this point, I love how they're showing the 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 amount of like pressure that Big Mom is forcing on the surrounding area to where her thrust with her shoulder is creating this massive influx of wind to come in from her backside. And like the anime showcasing that through Kiku's hair just flowing in the wind. This the amount of force. Look at that. It's a Yonko strength. And Tama's innocence. And then Momorosuke is shook, he's like, sweet mother of flag darts. But Tama in her innocent state is like, you did it. You did it all in. And Chopper is shook, he's like, sweet Jemima. Telling you. Perfect re reaction. I mean, it's the sniff. Like, where is it? Cough it up. And it's the lick. Like, yo, you out of there. You're out of there, son. Yo, I would turn into a... To a running back. Or a wide receiver. I'd be Tyreek Hill. Running a 4-3. Away from Big Mom. Are you kidding me? Poor Chopper. Goodness. Zoro mm -mm -mm -mm. greatness, man. Goodness. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, dude. Dun, 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 dun. I hit, bro. Every time they play this soundtrack, I always think of my boy Blackbeard. That's my eyes. Anytime I hear, I hear this theme. Blackbeard. 
Mr. Zayaha himself. Dun, 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 dun. Look at Luffy's <laughs> like, yo, I thought I escaped you, dog. Why are you here? That is the question. And by King, no less. Hey, there's another emperor of the sea right there with you. Don't disrespect the fifth emperor. It's opera's like it was saving grace. What's most hilarious about that is that you already know that Chopper picked that up from Usopp and Nami. Especially Usopp. Like, yo, I, I'm, I'm about to die. Let's tell a lie. <laughs> Let's tell a lie. Especially when Monosuke. Hmm. I just I just remembered a certain scene. I can't wait to see how they do that in the anime. Perfect. No one will know. Top tier disguise. They're shaking in their boots. Yeah, you know you're hungry whenever you start speaking to your stomach, dude. That's facts. It's like, you know, you're losing your mind. Poor kid and killer, dude.
Look at that neck, dude. The Brachiosaurus. She really did. She made it extremely easy. I mean, just pushed through every single gate, caused all of security to go all the way over to where uh, Luffy and Queen are. A clear path. <laughs> Yo. Here's what I'm talking about. Push his head on the ground. It's like in the manga panel. Yeah. That's, that's the power of a Yonko. They don't play. Yo, give me one second. Yeah, yeah. All righty, man. We are back. There's a little more sunlight out now, so the lighting's good. We're finally ready to get back into the One Piece anime awesome sauce. Before we get into that, make sure my audio's good. Okay, for um for the headphones. So let's see. Let's get right into it in three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Episode nine hundred forty-five. Man, dude. Like I was saying earlier, I, I still can't believe we're this close to chapter 1000, man. Like, like, man, I've been following this series for so many years. And to say that we're about to hit chapter 1000, and, and you know, no later than that, we're going to be in episode, episode 1000, you know? And just to think that both the anime and the manga are going to be over that, that benchmark. It's like, it's already hard enough for me to try to get people into the series. Be like, yo, it has a thousand episodes, a thousand chapters, and it's legendary. Like, I always, I always tell people, my selling point is, look, man, I know it's long. I recognize that it is a very long series. But by the time you're invested, 
You're going to be burning through episodes and through chapters like it's nothing. You're going to wish there was more. Like, I swear, I've seen people burn through from Water 7 to Marine Ford like nothing. Like nothing. What is it in the anime episodes? 200 and... I think Aokiji comes in episode 227. So it's like from episode like 227 until uh, the time skip, which is episode 516. 517. So like from there, I just see people blitz through that quick. Quick. And then when you get to post time skip, I've seen people lately blitz through from Fisherman Island to like Dress Rosa. Like nothing. And then Dress Rosa's long. And people be blitzing through Dress Rosa. I can't blame them because Dress Rosa is amazing. But it's like blitzing through that, blitzing through whole cake. Like these arcs are so phenomenal that you're gonna be going in. Like you're gonna forget time exists. You're gonna, you're gonna forget what episode you're on. And then by the time you catch up, we're gonna be like, yo, why isn't there more? That's my selling point. It's like, yo, once you get into it, it's too golden. Like, you're gonna wish there was more. Yo, Big Mom legit took Queen's head and just said, ah, put that thing on the ground. I can't wait to to um, to catch up to uh, my dude, uh, Skippy the Robot. Shout out to Skippy here on YouTube. Has the best uh, anime or videos on, on like, Letting you know who's directing, who's animating, you know, certain episodes and sequences. I feel like I, I gain a lot of knowledge um, and a lot, of, a lot more appreciation for the production behind the anime when I watch uh, Skippy's videos. So I'm looking forward to catching up and, and seeing who did what and, and whatnot. Straight up. Luffy, Luffy knows that better than anyone. Luffy went into her territory ready to throw hands. Look at the force behind that thrust. This man came down from the heavens. Swanton bomb, Jeff Hardy style. Straight up, right off the top of the ladder. By God Almighty! Yo, y'all saw that? It's like the impact hit and you saw the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Between a beast and a monster. I love how Big Mom's just holding them like, yo, who are you trying to hit? Do you realize who you're hitting? And Queen's like, I don't care.
What's scarier? Oh, Shiroko! Or wedding cake You feel me? Now, wedding cake has to be terrifying, man. God. You lizard. <laughs> you lizard. Look at the force. You know how much physical strength you need to have in order to do what Big Mom's doing right now? Goodness. That's that loopy observation hockey, baby. Letting them know it's coming. It's like, yo, that's scary, man. Udon's in, Wano's in danger. <laughs> Wano's in danger. Like, yo, seriously. You need Kaido himself to step up in here. Madness. The detail on Kid's face. That was the massive bright side to the entire thing. Like, you know, swinging Queen so hard the force freeze. Killer and Kid. You know, somebody took a drastic hit when they revert back from a form that they went in into their original form. And you have Big Mom in the background just sniffing. Just smelling what the rock is cooking. That's an emperor. right look at him the straw hat <laughs> I hope I can watch that episode today man They're like, yo, didn't you see what just took place with the queen?
instant. That dart instantly puts people to sleep. That thing's as strong as the one that you get in Metal Gear. Caribou. <laughs> Caribou, yo. The boss snail. It's definitely the goal. <laughs> that tongue action. Look at him. Kawabatsu. Yo, I'm so stoked. I need that episode of my life. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Oh, okay. Yo, I'm telling you, Oshiruko is a scary thing, man. I don't know if it compares to wedding cake because Big Mom was on a rampage trying to get that cake, but God. <laughs> oh Shiruko. Yo, that's gotta be scary, man. Like I guarantee you, years down the line, these dudes, if they manage to make it out of here alive, somebody's gonna be like, anybody want some red bean soup? Some oh Shiruko? They're gonna have PTSD, they're gonna be shook. The oh Shiruko, they're gonna duck for cover. <laughs> they're gonna be shook. I'd be like that sometimes, man. Yo, my bet is like, it's empty. <laughs> Poor Big Mom. She went through all this rampage just to get the red bean soup. Through Queen. Mi light years into the distance. And still can't get her precious red bean soup. Luffy and Hyogun are like, sorry. You know? Luffy was the one that ate it. Dang right. <laughs> it was. It was like it was. And he said.
kind of silently, you know. As usual. Yeah, Luffy launched that thing. Or um, Big Mom launched that thing. And Luffy launched it the other way. Hmm. Goodness. That was a strong punch. Oh, they're outside of the range. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, on one side you have the... The timer. And then the other side, you have Big Mom. They know. They know that better than anyone. I love how Chopper thinks of Big Mom as King Kong. <laughs> you saw that? It's a kindness attack. <laughs> Poor Hyogoro. Oh, man. That's my goat. That's my goat. The flower petals representing the Rio. It cracks. He finally gets both his and Hyogoro's off. That's the king right there, man. 
I do love that though, how the real hockey is represented by flower petals. Like we see that in the opening, we see that continuously uh, here with every single time like the real hockey is shown. It's just, it looks so dope. Like the flower petals representing, like it coming into the form of a fist. It looks super cool. And now they can run. Now they can get out of Big Mama's way. <laughs> hmm. And one more. That's right. He's doing it for you, so that. You can learn how to utilize it. That's right. We like fools around here. Look at that shot. Bring it on, Yonko. Bro, I can't even imagine being an anime only and seeing that, dude. Before we go into the next episode, I have to take a screenshot of that moment again. Dog, that was goat. Look at this. Look at this shot, dude. Look at this shot. Yo. I gotta take a picture. That's the thumbnail. That is, that is, that has to be the thumbnail. That's nasty. And the way that it came together, too. The flower petals, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Bring it on, Yonko. Goat. Next episode. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, 946. Let me let it load up for a little bit. Dude, that was crazy. Man, it's hit though. Wink. You know, he started charging it up. With the flower petals. And, you know, but Hyogoro is 100% is right. Like, in the moment of crisis, in a moment of a desperate situation, that's really the only time that you're able to uh, master something like that and or come close to mastering. Uh, something like that because that is when you truly get uh, your training in like that's the only way that you can get better at something you know at least fast which is what Luffy needs here like you can always you know hone it over time or whatever but if he wants to get out of here match this real hockey to the point where next time he faces Kaido he's gonna be able to go in like swimmer he's got to do it quick and uh, he'll go to realize that and he's and he's putting his own life on the line for the next generation he's like yo I understand. I know what my role here is, man. I gotta see the king to the new dawn. You feel me? So, let's see. I think we're good now. Episode 946. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me check my phone for this charge. Ugh. I want to check my treasure cruise, man. Supposedly, some people got 100 gems yesterday for pulling on the smoker banner. I can't wait for that Roger and Whitebeard stuff, man. That's gonna be goat. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Doesn't look like we have any mail. 
We're giving everyone a Thanksgiving gift. I guess I never opened that. Dude. Yo, look at look at this squad I have right now, man. I'm talking about I'm squatted. At least this is this is the one I'm running with right now just for just for the clout, you know. Got Dragon Form Kaido. Let me pull on the brightness. I got Dragon Kaido. Stampede Luffy. Goaded. Then I got Miyak and Perona. Because you already know, gotta rep. Then you got my boy, Mr. Zay ha 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 himself. And I finally pulled this card, man. Like, yo, shakes, dude. And so, I've been running with that team just for the the giggles like you know just just, just for the for the goatness you feel me because most of the time uh i really like using the the bin smoke sanji the um the sanji that has the suit from uh from zo like whenever he first set off love using that sanji man man it's goat and then both zoros the one that does the the uh, the three billion fold um uh, trilocosm and um the the one from the the second card the from 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 the very same set uh the v2 and the v1 version both of those zoros are awesome because i'm trying to get zoro and luffy because when, when i get zoro and luffy instant in there and then i don't have stealth black either because if not i would definitely use them too so where did you get those two cards and supposedly there's like a shanks and white beard card coming too that's gonna be crazy I don't even want to imagine that, dude. It's going to break my screen. I think my favorite card in the game, though, is still a Luffy and Ace card. And that's my most used card. When I pulled that card, I've been using it. Ever, like yo, I've used that card so many times for so many different situations. It's just so goat. Tag team Ace and Luffy card. Desperate situation. See, I'm telling you, this arc has something really special when it comes to the visuals and how they represent things. This man is glowing. And you know, I come, I come from the Dragon Ball era. You know, somebody is glowing. That means that they're OP. You know, that means that there's something going on. <laughs> That's a strong being. Because in Dragon Ball, there's two things, man. They're glowing and their hair's getting long. That's, That's the environment I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see that shot again if if they reuse it. Rio, huh? Come on, let's see it. Yeah. 
Move it. Let's go. I can't do what Rayleigh did back then. Rayleigh flashback? Oh, it's a Sabaori. Yeah, when I retook it off, gamey. Man, Sabaori is such a gold arc, bro. Like. It's crazy seeing Sabaori with, um. With, with the outline that they utilize in, in Wano. Like the outline on the characters. It's really cool seeing it in this type of art style. Like, yo, I remember being so shocked when I saw Rayleigh the first time and it said that he was the second in command under Roger. I was like, excuse me, son? Like, I was losing it. The supernovas. Punching themselves to a dragon. One of the greatest moments in all of anime. Then, Kizaru Kuma. God, what an arc. That's really cool. Like, this time... Now the anime has the knowledge of Arm and Hockey and all that stuff. They added that effect. Arm and Hockey psh, swiftly taking it out. That's dope. Two years. Rayleigh knew the Rio. Music. <laughs> Gotta believe in the king. I was reading myself, I should allow hockey to flow to my fists. Sweet flag darts! Yo, the level of detail for that swing, the impact. Luffy, you know, you saw the force whenever his cheek started. The toys on their A game, man. They're on their A game. <laughs> he tried it. You know? He said it back in the beginning of the series. I'm gonna become Pirate King. And if I die on the way, at least I died trying. And he's always lived up to that. Always lived up to that mission statement. He's like, Yo Yogoro, I'm sorry, I failed. I failed. Live! Live, Yogoro! This man Yogoro has a massive bump on his head too.
destroying it from the inside, and that is the Rio hockey. That was a really cool uh, visual representation of, uh, of what hockey is. Queen. Perfect episode transition right there, man. Don't die on me, GG. Oh man, this soundtrack. This soundtrack always gets to me, son. <laughs> I love how both Yogoro and Luffy said, screw it. <laughs> Get up. Like, yo, Big Mom's fierce fist brought back Yogoro from the dead, yo. It's like, yo, I ain't, I ain't dying. Why is the earth rumbling? Man, Luffy's running for his life, dude. In one hit.
Queen's back in action. And he caught you talking about him. The pride of being in Kaido's crew. That was a cool transition. Hmm. The immense amount of force being put into those swings, though. I love it. I love it. Queen's waiting. In Brachiosaurus farm and all. Just waiting. Here we go. Here comes the Jeff Hardy. Got her twice. Yo, look at the... This man queen is coming in at the speed of light. Look at that headbutt. Goodness. That's gotta be up there for one of the world's strongest headbutts, dude. In terms of impact, like, goodness.
comes the return of the memories. Charlotte putting the goat. Now she opens her eyes to see Queen. Hmm. Darby. Here we go. Snap back to reality. That was like the fastest 23 minutes of all time. The I could have sworn the episode just started. I want to watch the next episode. Let's watch another one, man. Let's watch another one. Episode 147. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, dude. It's fantastic. You know, it's a great feeling. I felt this way during Whole Cake as well specifically my time doing youtube right like for me as much as i was enjoying like whenever i first started off it was back during punk hazard and and uh the punk hazard anime it did the the special moments just so so incredible something with dress rosa and like but man the manga experience at the time was just was just so top tier uh, in comparison to the to the consistent quality that we were getting out of the anime at the time, even though it was still very enjoyable. Um, but man, I feel like ever since Whole Cake, up until now, I've been getting the same amount of enjoyment. I mean, I always enjoy the manga more because of, you know, the new content, being able to theorize, discuss, uh, the craziness that happens. You know, Oda's, Oda's just a master uh, with the pen. Uh, but lately, you know, ever since Whole Cake Island, I feel like I, for, for specific chapters and moments, it's hard for me to pick which one I like in either version, you know, and that, that's always a good thing to have, you know, where you're like, man, uh, you know, this very same moment in the manga and in the anime, the anime does such a well, uh, does such a fantastic job of adapting it where you're like, man, and it's, it's great. It's, it's awesome to be excited. Uh, for both the manga and the anime. Because they've just been going absolutely in. For just even for, you know, moments that uh, aren't as... Um, uh, like it, it isn't like one of those special One Piece moments. But it is, uh, you know, the good moments that take place uh, within, within the arcs and within the series. And, like, they give every single moment... And every single thing now, like their their time to shine, it's 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 really cool. Just the level of consistent quality that we've gotten from the anime uh, for the past couple of years has been.
top notch. Queen is like, yo, this is my territory, son. This is the territory of my captain. I ain't just gonna let you swing around here doing whatever you please. This man queen came down from the heavens, dude. I mean, shit, off the top of the ladder. Jeff Hardy, Swanton Bomb. Just at full speed. That's got to go down as one of the strongest headbutts, dude. Just like sweet flag nerds. That gets me really excited for a headbutt that takes place later on. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Sweet babies. She immediately remembers, like, I came here to take Luffy's head. And then King went in and threw us all in the sea. You feel me? In this scenario, what, what would even be considered, like, more, the most? Um, like, what would you fear more? A big mom without her memories or a big mom with her memories? Probably with her memories, honestly. Because without her memories, you know, she was doing all that out of kindness. Even though she was still trying to pull Luffy. But with memories? And she's hungry? That's definitely, look at that, look at that aura! Look at the eyes, look at the thug. The classic Oda shocked face. My god, bro, just look at that face. That's terrifying. Queen's like, yo, this is it, I'm dead. Not necessarily.
Your big mom. <laughs> Queen was crying for his life. She fell asleep. Massive nose bubble. Yo, Queen, Queen accepted his death, dog. Like, yo, that was death coming in, it, it, staring him in the face. Tranquilizer for savage animals, dude. Chained her up. Got her all the way down. My man Queen said this is top priority, son. Top priority. Gotta love Tom. Every time I hear this theme, I always think of the Frankie family. Look at Louvie. That's right. He's always been free. You already know. Dun. So yeah, you can't blame Queen in that top in that position. To like say screw everything in Udon. This is top priority. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yo, chained up big mob. Let's go take her to Kaido, cause yo, once she wakes up, that's the only man that can deal with it right now. Always been free. Mm -hmm. This is just free training for the king, dude. Let's see. Flowing. Pwned. Pwned. Dude got one shot. 
as he should. This man also got pwned, as he should. That's the goal. That's the goal. He has a massive imprint on his face. He's getting the hang of it. So many enemies. Okay, chop reaction. <laughs> Chopper with a clothesline. Massive boot to the face. The goat. My boy. Closer and closer to see him every episode. Ka pa 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 pa. Hmm. It's like utilizing fear. The fear of the possibilities. You know, like, none of these individuals want that to happen to them. No, the cheek.
killed our families and allies and then proceeded to beat the crap out of us, dude. Man. It's like in that sense, you can understand definitely why they're doing this. Necessary hope. Now I gotta believe in the king, man. Here comes the playgrounds. Playgrounds. Yo, Queen's a threat, man. I mean, seriously, just imagine like the machine gun of an arm just going ham. Just continuously unloading these playgrounds. There he is. There's my boy. There he is, son. Come on, Kawabatsu. Yo, the chills. My boy Kawamatsu is back. Let's go, Kiku. Instant. Instant. Don't mess with Kawamatsu, son. It's 
tell him. Man. Black Nards. Oh boy, Kawabatsu. Yeah, I think I'll just have to see that for next time. Man, would I want to see it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to save it. I'll save it for next time. And we'll be able to witness it in, in all of its glory. I might, might even be able to watch it tonight. We should be goaded. Man. <laughs> he got the very, very strongest treatment. As he should. As he should. Can't wait to see you with that episode. That's gonna be awesome sauce. But man, just the... This art continues to impress with the visuals, you know, like stuff like the Brachio Bomber, and like the insane amount of uh, how extravagant that looked in, in scale and whatnot. And, you know, Big Mom going up game against Luffy, uh, Luffy's declaration, and uh, continuing to train up the real hockey and just the way that this arc has, has put such an emphasis on, uh, on the visuals when it comes to hockey whether it be observation, ornament, especially when it comes to the Rio and like the pedals and it just looks so cool. The anime's been on fire. You know, they just perfect sound cues. Uh it, it's just it's been so good, man. Wano greatness in both the anime and the manga. Wait, I won't I won't be able to watch another one, man. As much as I want to. I want to see my boy Kawamatsu go in, but now I know that I'll have something to look forward to for next time, man. Kawamatsu greatness. Can't wait to see him. But Luffy was definitely the star of these episodes with the real hockey and the Big Mom stuff. Her getting her memories back. Queen spread and saying, yo, I gotta go take Big Mom over to Kaido, you know. But, man, shout out to the visuals. You know, they really went in on these last couple of episodes. I mean, I can't even see that. This entire arc, they've been going in on the visuals, but... Um, just, you know, making certain, you know, moments and, and, uh, and scenes, like, really showcasing the amount of force being put into some of these things, like, when it comes to the punches, um, the characters and how they're flying, thanks to, like, certain characters blowing them away and stuff like that, like, it goes a long way in, in showing, you know, the amount of force that is put into some of these things, and it's always appreciated, so, I'll see y'all next time, have an awesome day, one piece greatness. Can't wait to return for that Kawamatsu awesome sauce. And hopefully we'll be caught back up with the anime soon. I think I'll only have like five episodes or something like that left. Um, and then I think after tomorrow, like six or whatever it is. But we'll catch up, man. And um, and be on the Wano greatness in both the anime and the manga. But I'll see y'all next time. Can't wait for Kawamatsu greatness, man. <laughs>